Hey guys, welcome back to Godly Sins for the People. I'm Godly. I'm Matilda. And guys, today we have something special for you uh, in store because we have a certain, you know, event that we are planning and getting together. And it's very special. What do you think it is? You want to tell them? We're getting married. We're getting married, guys. Yes. And it's so exciting because we have been so busy doing other things, you know, lining up the DJ and, you know, uh, picking out the cake selections, uh, getting her uh, bridesmaids, I was about to say groomsmaids, by <laughs> getting her uh, bridesmaids together, my groomsmen as well. You know, so so much is going goes into a wedding that uh, we have to be, you know, also about God and not forget him so today we have this special title for you guys because the word comes what first on this channel so God comes first of course the wedding is going to have God within it too of course uh, whoever comes uh, is going to be a special special event we're gonna have a small wedding it's gonna be based a beach wedding based in uh you know different location and it's gonna be epic because what you have something to say uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> she's just in anticipation back there anyways um like i said you know this is gonna be a special event and matilda today is gonna choose eight of my fragrances personally uh, out of my collection that it's going to be great for a fragrance that I should wear for the wedding so of course Tom Ford is on the list uh, you know just to name a few uh, Dior Sauvage and you know Office for Men but we want to get in this word first right yeah so this word title, like I said, it's about boldness. Uh, it's our notes from our pastor, of course, Family Christian Center, great church. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll let Matilda read hers first. Okay. So to do anything in life, you have to be bold to do everything without excuses. Bravery, daring, confidence, no fear, urgency, courage, attributes you have when you're filled with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. you declare the works of the Lord and not be ashamed and not wait for others to do it mm -hmm. you cannot get into um, people or you you cannot get into God's presence without having the boldness because you come boldly to the throne of grace to the throne Hebrews yes. 4 16 um, your needs will never be met without boldness mm-hmm you will be filled with flesh and negativity. Every time um, you speak the word, it is like a two-edged sword mm. that's cutting going in and cutting going out. Mm -hmm. Slicing up those devils. Slicing the enemy down. Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. Sin is always at the door, crouching at the door, waiting to... Uh, bring doubt confusion mm -hmm. get you out of the word get your focus out from where you're supposed to be you know from what god has for you absolutely so he does everything that he can to do that mm -hmm. um and the devil's an accuser of brethren so if if the if you're getting accused know where that's coming from it's coming from the <clears throat> enemy mm -hmm. Um, he's always, always determined to turn your name into God, to come against you. And the only one, only way to get rid of him, what do you do? You pick up that sword of the word of God. Yes. <laughs> and you speak it. Uh, rise up and use that word. Mm -hmm. God doesn't want to respond to crybabies. You know, it's okay to cry, 
but then you get up you get up and you're like okay this is it i'm not gonna sit here and wallow i'm gonna speak that word mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you don't sit around and wait things for it to happen you speak you want things to change you speak them speak those things that be not as though they were nice nice you need to get to a place where people laugh at you because you're you're speaking you're speaking the word you know because uh, the word of God is foolishness unto man. Mm -hmm. They don't understand it. Mm -hmm. You don't have the Holy Spirit to understand, mm -hmm. you know? So, which is which is a shame. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Um, and what happens? So, believe God for the impossible. Um, you have anxiety. People take pills and spirits, you know, drinking for it. Um, but Philippians 4 and 6. Um you don't go around blaming people you know what happens when you're when you don't have the word you have fear that comes upon you mm -hmm. but god's word says in second timothy 1 and 7 that god didn't give us the spirit of fear he gave us the uh, power. power love power. and a sound, and a sound mind, mind. Yes. so the word is more powerful than any kind of plague that could be on this earth to your debt you speak mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. your um, mediocrity you speak to sickness mm -hmm. we have the power to speak it to to declare to be bold mm -hmm. decree and declare decree and declare yes um god always puts us on the solid ground mm -hmm. um he never leaves us nor forsakes us like deuteronomy in 31 mm -hmm. and 6 yes um people should admire your boldness you know um you think that people don't pay attention but they do you are a living walking testimony mm -hmm. you know just just even if without saying a word you know they see your stand they see that you don't buckle down under the pressure that no matter what's going on people around you are getting sick and this and that and and they're like, oh, you know, everybody's going to get sick at some point. Mm -hmm. But you stand and you're like, no, that's not what the word says. Exactly. And then what happens? You don't get sick while other people around you are getting sick. Yes. Just an example. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you stir up that flame that is within you. Rise up from slumber. Rise up and speak that word. Um, get bold and stop playing around. Wake up out of the slumber. See, I was ahead of myself. The, yeah. the violent taketh by force. I'm yawning right now, but I'm not in a slumber. So, you guys, <laughs> just, it's late here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is coming for a church on fire for him. Yes. <laughs> the light in you permeates within you without even saying a word. So, um, that's pretty much the gist of what I got. That is um, awesome. Yeah. What a great service that we it attended. Was, yeah. uh, our pastor always delivers great news. Who's ready for the remnant to stand Yay. up? Will the real remnants please stand up? Mm. Please stand up. Please stand up. Anyways, <laughs> mine is about bonus also. Bonus Work. to finish, to be on time, to, sh to shout out in your bones. That's how boldness operates. Mm -hmm. Romans 8.39, of course, uh, speaks on, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So if you're feeling like, you know, you you know, somebody's beating you down and beating your spirit man down with the flesh, I want you to rise up and also mm -hmm. speak 8 Romans 8:39 upon your life and never let anybody separate you from the love of God. I think that's key. You know, my uh fiance was telling me that uh a while back and I think it's so important uh, if you're a man of God to keep that mindset. It's powerful. So always oh, good to have a woman that lifts you up too. You know, I, that's what I love about Matilda. So 
uh, one of the things I should say. Uh, yeah, when you come to uh, when you come to him, he will empower you. That bats the enemy down. Basically, just like uh, Luke ten nineteen. Give, uh, he gives us power to, uh, over scorpions and serpents and all the power of the enemy. By any means, nothing shall harm us. So as he tramples under our feet, we see him just, you know, be defeated by God alone and by our words, like Matilda said. So bravery, confidence, urgency, and courage. The remnant is different. The remnant is different from being with you than other than uh, the religious type people or Christians. So the remnant is going to have more confidence in what they're doing and say, oh, wow, we're going from glory to glory. And the religious people in church are going to say, well, we just have to praise God. We're here for another Sunday. And they're gonna be lukewarm. So at the same time, we wanna be those remnant Christians that power and speak with that boldness um, that God gives us inside of us with the Holy Ghost Spirit. When God comes into the in, comes inside of you, it's gonna be great power. We gotta move with great power. Most people have not been baptized in the Holy Ghost or the Spirit. Remember that. If that's you, subscribe, subscribe now. When the Holy Go, when the Holy Spirit is with fire inside of you, uh, it's more than overly uh, powerful works of God, and it's actually God intertwined in your body with you in your spirit, man. We all know that. We are not ashamed, and we will seek God openly. Acts of boldness will be created. You can't be in God's presence without boldness because his presence is so uplifting, his presence is so mighty that you have to come bold to the throne, which Matilda mentioned before. We must come boldly to the throne of grace, like I mentioned, uh, that we must obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. There's gonna be Christians left on this planet, of course, and left in the misery of what they have decided and chose to do with their lives rather than going to God. And there's going to be those Christians that's left here. Some might not have, you know, full acknowledgement of the Holy Ghost or what we obtain. And they will be here to help those that are left behind. God will help them too as well. So, um... Now, what was I at? The word of God is a two-edged sword, slicing and dicing, just like how Salt Bay be slicing and dicing the meat. I'm sure y'all know about Salt Bay anyway. Slicing and dicing the meat, putting the salt on it like this. But anyways, <laughs> Jesus' word slices and dices too. Anyways, the devil, the enemy of your soul has come to steal from you kill you he has come as a thief also to defeat you satan wants you to lose your boldness he will feel like he won he's won when he has you down and out when he wants to destroy your family give you fear give you discouragement speak the word of god out of your mouth christians speak powerfully he is an accuser of the church Satan accuses you before God, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. God needs the remnant to come boldly, needs us to obtain his grace and share the word with others like we're sharing with you right now. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Rise up and not worry because we are in God. This is war upon the enemy and draw your sword out, Christians. Cut the devil's head off. God does not respond. I love it when she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matilda's theatrics. She almost as uh, animated as our pastor, of course, uh, which is good. 
uh, righteous as a lion. Of course, God will hear your cry, but not hear cry babies, as she mentioned. Don't wallow in your misery. Stand up, fight the enemy. Fight the enemy when you're having a bad day, when you're depressed, when you're feeling fearful, when you're feeling angry, or when you want to retaliate in some different ways like I do. You have to really sit back and say, you know what, God, I, I'm angry right now, but I can't retaliate like this. I need to really, you know, thank you for blessing my spirit, man, right now and getting me it back in my mode. That's what we have to do. Now, God's gonna get his, uh, no, God's gonna get us, give us a house, and he will bless us as we speak things into existence. Not because we care about material things, but he's going to bless his church. He's coming back for the, the body of Christ, his church. So, I want you guys to be aware of that. It's war, it's war. Anxiety, be anxious for nothing, Christians. Make your requests be known to God. We all have access to God. Second Timothy 1 and 7, as uh, Matilda mentioned, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. Power, love, sound mind. Do not worry about anything. If we're in Christ, let the Holy Ghost Spirit lead you like he's leading me right now because I did not even, not even plan to say that because I'm still on my messages, but he's going off on a tangent. So I let, you know, the word, you know, flow. So at the same time, also just keep in mind that God knows your heart. He knows what you desire. He knows how to get to you mm -hmm. and he will. If he's chasing it, chasing you, chastening you, excuse me, then he must have something special for you. So, I, I mean, he chases me and I was running, but I came to see the light. I came to see what he had in store and it was good. So, um, quick. Be quick with the word. Also, quit re being brainwashed. The power of God will be with you. We need to stop listening to Baal music, which is Baal is the enemy, the Antichrist, with cuss words and all this other stuff. I know I, I'm, I know I do. I listen to all kind of other stuff, but anyways. God is working. Uh, let's see. This is my last part, of course. Uh, do not feel guilt. Do not feel depression. You boldly proclaim Jesus. He cancels all your transgressions. Stop thinking about the past and look to your future, Christians. Psalm 42, verse, Psalms 40, verse 2. Discouragement. Things aren't going the way you thought. Rise, rise up in the word of the Lord. Open it, open the word up. It's very dangerous. It will relieve you, heal you, and draw demons out of your family or whatever you are going through at the time. Do not be discouraged. So I, I think that was amazing. Yeah, Hopefully you enjoyed word. that word. That was a word of um, endearment and power, courage, strength, boldness, right? Mm -hmm. It's late here, so Matilda's like, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, but guys, our wedding is amazing. Thank you for uh, supporting our channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. Hit the bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, I know this is 19 going on 20 minutes. Uh, what a great pastor, of course. It delivers every Sunday. So here are the fragrances that Matilda's going to be choosing from. So we got 
Dior Sauvage Elixir for our wedding. Mm. Now we want to go with something, it's a beachy wedding, so you want to go with something citrusy and smooth, but that will also uh, be long lasting, right? Great longevity, great sillage. Here we go with Baccarat Rouge 540. Here we go with Aqua de Gio. Aqua de Gio, mm -hmm. sorry. Aqua <laughs> de Gio, uh, Pour Homme, Armani. And then we have, which is very citrusy. Then we have, of course, Wanted by Night. Now I think this is gonna be great for the evening. I'm just gonna sit, go out there and say it. It's gonna be great for the evening. I always like some Wanted. And yeah, she loves some Wanted. <laughs> Actually, I'll give you a spray right now mm -hmm. just to get your fumes going. Mm, that is that is very citrusy and, and fruity in itself. Mm, okay. Yes. <laughs> Put in a trance, guys. Anyways, then we have uh, Versace Pour Homme. I love this stuff. It's very clean. Now this would be considered for like when the ceremony is going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not gonna be bringing all kind of fragrances, but <laughs> I will bring a bag with fragrances probably in the car now like I said it's a beach wedding uh, it's gonna be amazing aren't you happy yeah we everything's been working Beautiful. together for our good you know God has been blessing us uh, we had time to plan it's gonna be June I mean July 19th 2022 I mean June 19th I'm sorry <laughs> that will be edited <laughs> and uh, here we go Loam Ideal. Good stuff, very citrusy, very uh, fruity as well, Eau de Parfum. And then we have Tom Ford. I knew Tom Ford was gonna be on here. Also, Tom Ford Noir Extreme is really good too. This is uh, ombre leather. Very nice, very sweet. Um, very sweet, I love it. I know, sorry babe. That will be edited as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why did it squirt like that? Anyways, there we go. Very sweet. And then <laughs> she's trying to revive, guys. Sorry. Anyways, and then I'm kind of low on this bottle. I'm shocked because I'm, I'm I really love it. I want to get some more of it, and that's Jeremy Fragrance Office for Men. So she's going to be deciding out of all these right now. We're going to do it within maybe three minutes. So it's 23 minutes right now, guys. We don't want to make this too long. Maybe we'll go, go to... Uh... Taking more time. Okay, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's Elixir. Let's see what she thinks. We're going to narrow it down to the finals, too. Elixir, what do you think? Okay, let's do the napkin. Mm. Damn, guys, not. Just do it. It's okay. Okay. All right. Come on, we gotta go. Come okay, on, I'm uh, waiting for you. Oh, well, you. You can't use the same one for Aqua well, and Joe. You sprayed it on my hand. Oh, guys, look at her. Anyway. Mm, okay. That's very citrusy, right? Mhm. Mm so Versace is good. Anyway. All right, next one. You didn't even want to spray it. Well, you sprayed it on me. Okay. Mm. Woo! That's some good stuff, too. It's very peppery. Black. This one you sprayed on Beautiful my Beautiful black eyes, pepper. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you already know how this smells. Yeah. Oh, it smells incredible. Pineapple. Just a little bit. Yeah. Very much pineapple with the office. Uh, yeah, pineapple in there. Mm, that's tough, tough lineup. Very great lineup. Very great lineup. Now we're gonna narrow it down to the top five. Top five. Okay, we'll put Dior Sauvage in there. Oh, she likes Dior Sauvage. We'll put this one in there. Versace Pour Homme, right? Versace, you gotta show them the bottle. Versace Pour Homme. She's slipping, y'all. She's slipping. We'll put Office for Men in there. Office for That's Men. Three. Okay, show them the bottle. All right, cool. 
Of this course, is... I've got to have one of these. Uh, I was about to say, what are you gonna? Like the nice what are you tent? gonna choose? Oh. Oh. oh, it happened. Oh, there we go. So that's four. I was trying to. Uh, uh, so last it. one. <laughs> That's one. That's it. <laughs> no, it has to be five, silly. Well, uh, this, one again. this one's lemony. It is lemony. Um, no, what, let me smell out of it. Let me smell it. It's hard to oh, it smell it? God, yes. It's so good. We'll go with that one. Okay. Long. It's on the bottle. Long idiotic. Guys, she did not pick time for ombre leather. Well, that's good too, but you know, you can't pick Wow, them she did not pick aqua visual. Lemony, citrusy, so that would be good too. She but... did not pick the baccarat. Yeah, that one doesn't have much of a smell to me. So. All right, so All right. now we're gonna narrow it down to Two. No, Two. top top three. Top three. Oh my gosh. Top three. Uh, Twenty-seven minutes. Uh, okay, is this for like the day? This is like so we're gonna we're gonna day, we're gonna have maybe? yeah we're gonna have a day in the daytime and then the nighttime and then we're gonna have just the two fragrances. We're gonna go with this one. Wow, Versace wins. We're go with this one. Oh, you can't go with three. You said three. Oh yeah, I did say top three. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then Office for the Men day. is that is a beast. And then the Dior Sabat. What? You're gonna leave for the day. wanted? I, I, no, no, no. I, I want wanted, but like during the day. Okay, so during the day, I of these want top three. So, clean. so we're going with this at night. This yeah. already wins, right? Yeah. Winner, like wanted by yeah. night for the wedding, guys. Of course, she, I knew she was gonna pick that anyway. All right. Loam, Idiot was knocked out, guys, knocked out. Oh. So out of these three, Elixir, Dear Savage, Office for Men, and then the Versace Pour Homme. Look at that juice, guys. Just It just screams beach, right? Mm-hmm. So... Now we're going with the skin test. Of course, my skin's different from yours. So you, I can't you, really. You go better by believe that. that. You better believe my pheromones are different. Just a little. Not a whole lot. Though. Yeah. Don't don't spray too much of that juice. That juice is expensive. <laughs> All right, she has a test of all three. Which will she pick for the daytime? Now, there's always layering, but mm -hmm. who wants to layer? You know, mm -hmm. you get, it's too much going on. It got there. Let's get down to the winner, guys. Coming up on Top. 31 minutes. Yeah, so, what do you think? It's so tough. It's almost like you can do a blend. Out of all of these three, it has to be one winner. I want to go for. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go for this yeah, one. Yeah, the Versace. I knew she wanted to go for that. But I feel like it would be okay if it was even blended with some office. With that for office for man. Okay. So you're a true or winner, any of them. and you need to say you're real winner, so they can get off and go uh, do what they gotta do. All right, I'm gonna say this one. The Versace. winner is Versace Pour Homme, guys. For the day and the night. And the is night wanted is night. wanted by night, of course. This is great. Shooting at you. Yes. Well, guys, bless up God first. We thank you that you are 
going to be a part of um, our wedding, of course, because we're going to put up videos uh, digitally. Um, and we're also going to have my GoPro there. So, guys, it's going to be an incredible day, special day for both of us. We are excited. We're happy. We're going to show you the centerpieces as well. Uh, you know, just family fun and excitement. And, uh, yeah, I mean, from there, we're, we're, we're you know, going to have some good times back at our spot at the W Hotel in Chicago. So, bless up. God first. See you.